Tim Scott back in his home state today as he continues to weigh a presidential run. Mm -hmm. This is his first event in South Carolina since announcing an exploratory committee earlier this week. Fox Carolina's Justin Doherty has more from just outside Charleston. After spending the past two months on the road in both Iowa and New Hampshire, Senator Tim Scott walked through these doors of this restaurant in Goose Creek as a potential presidential candidate, and he had one message saying it is always good to come home. A hometown crowd for Senator Tim Scott. It is always good to come home. The senator visiting with voters in Goose Creek just days after launching an exploratory committee for president. He tells us he is close to making an official decision. I'm getting closer without any question. My goal was to listen on the Faith in America tour, number one. Number two, have the exploratory committee. It gets them more serious and it gives us more, more ability to hear from the American people. Scott says his past two months on the road helped him make the jump from his Faith in America tour to forming a committee. What I keep hearing is that people are starving for some optimism. They want a positive message. But they do want to anchor to conservative values. And so one of the reasons why I went from the Faith in America tour to the Exploratory Committee is that the message is resonating. Uh, I've had the blessing of living in the American dream. My goal is to make sure that my American dream pales in comparison to the next generation of American dreams. Some voters we spoke to are hopeful he makes his run official. Others remain undecided but interested in what he has to say. 100% if he runs for president, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to change, to getting America back to where it needs to be. Not any minority reasons or special interests, or I'm a woman, obviously, I've served in the military, but even those things aren't going to deter me from, the Constitution was written the way it was, and we need a president who will serve the people. If Scott were to enter the race, he'd be taking on former President Donald Trump and fellow South Carolinian Nikki Haley, who appointed Scott to the Senate back in 2012. Have you talked to former Governor Nikki Haley about your possible intentions for 2024? Uh, well, obviously we both have wished each other good luck. She's a good woman. She served this state very well, sir. And we should be proud of who she is and, and what she represents. Now from here, Senator Scott will spend the weekend in Charleston meeting with donors and then it's back on the road again with stops planned in Iowa. Outside of Charleston, Justin Dory, Fox Carolina News.